Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our series on uh, energy modeling with Dragonfly. And in this video, I'm just going to cover how to install UrbanOpt. Uh, now, if you guys watched the previous video, you know I said that we're going to be using UrbanOpt to run our urban scale energy simulations. Uh, and so I have up here the link to the, the UrbanOpt docs from which you can download uh, the, an executable installer to, uh, to install UrbanOpt. So this is a necessary pre-step before you go and run any energy simulation with Dragonfly. Now, I'm not going to cover the whole installation of the Grasshopper plugin because we've covered that in our other videos like our uh, energy modeling with Honeybee series. And because I included in the, in the description of this video the link to that Honeybee energy modeling series and the link to our, our, the Food for Rhino location where you can download our Grasshopper plugin. Uh, so I'm only going to focus on installing UrbanOpt here, but I will reference some of the things that come with that that uh, that installation of, of the Grasshopper plugin. So first off, uh, if we go to this, the docs.urbanopt.net, the sort of homepage of, of where you can find all the information, all the, the, the necessary information on UrbanOpt, and then you can go to the installation instructions here, you'll find that they have installation instructions for Mac or Windows, depending upon uh, which operating system you're working from. So I'm going to go to the Windows installation instructions, and you can see there's a simple uh, single-click executable installer that NREL uh, builds and distributes for us. So if I click on here, you'll see it's going to take me to a web page that has a few different versions of, of UrbanOpt installers. If you guys are watching this in the future, there may be even more uh, versions uh, after 0.6.2 here. The way that you can figure out which version is the correct one for you to use is that if you have downloaded our, our Ladybug Tools plugin from Food for Rhino, right here I have the zip folder that downloads from that. Uh, and if you guys go to the installation instructions here that, that come out of that zip folder that I've extracted, there's a little text file with the link to our, our uh, Grasshopper plugin installation instructions. So I'm just going to go and paste that link into my browser. And you'll see this will bring us to the, the instructions for how to install our, our plugin, which again, I said I'm not going to cover. But if you go to the very last page of those installation instructions, we have what we call a compatibility matrix. And you can always use this to figure out what versions of the engines you should be installing for a given compatible version of the, of the Ladybug Tools plugin. Uh, so for this, this particular one, I'm using version 1.3. If you guys in the future, I'm sure we'll have, we're going to have more versions of Ladybug Tools released in the future. Uh, but you can see that I need to install UrbanOps CLI 0.6.2. And in fact, I even have the link right here over to uh, exact that, exactly the same page that I got to from the UrbanOp website. Uh, so again, you can simply just check the version number here and go and select 0.6.2 here from, uh, from that original UrbanOp docs page. Uh, or a lot of the times you should find that we just have the link right here for us. Um, so again, depending upon your operating system, I mean, I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to download the Windows EXE here. Uh, and it will take maybe, depending upon the speed of your internet connection, of, of you know, a, a minute or so to download. Uh, you can see I've got a pretty fast connection here. It's coming down very fast. Uh, but when it's done, uh, you can just click that executable installer to run it. And you can see a little wizard will pop up that will walk you through the various steps. Uh, so I'm just going to click next. I, I would say always accept the defaults for the default installation location because uh, the Dragonfly plugin knows to look there uh, when when uh, when trying to find UrbanOp to run simulations with it. Uh, so I'm just going to hit next. I'm going to select you know take all of the things that come by default. Uh, you know all the, the menu shortcuts. That's fine. And then I'll just get to the install window. Uh, and it will take. Uh, you will probably have to give permission for it to run, uh, especially if you're on Windows. Uh, and uh, it'll take just a, a minute or two to install all of the UrbanOpt components on your system. So I'm going to pause and be right back. Okay, and you can see that the wizard finished installing everything here, uh, and we can just click Finish. Uh, and that's really all that you need to do in order to be able to, to get set up with running uh, with running Dragonfly. If you really want to check to make sure that you have uh, the uh, uh, the UrbanOps correctly installed. On Windows, you should uh, just be able to go to your, your C drive or uh, your main drive, and you'll see a little folder there for the UrbanOps CLI installed. Uh, so as long as you see that there on, on Mac, it's going to be a slightly different uh, location. Um, but, uh, 
but yeah, but you can check to make sure that it's installed there correctly. And uh, and with that, you're pretty much ready to go, ready to, to launch Dragonfly. So in the next video, we're going to open up Rhino Grasshopper and begin dragging and dropping some, some components onto the canvas. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you then.